Hello guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, if you want to see this look that I've created for going to Tesco, yes, I'm dressed like this to go to Tesco, um, please just keep watching. I hope you're all doing so well. Um, yeah, positivity and light to you all. And yeah, thanks for coming to my channel once again and watching. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Aston. Um, I'm a mother of four from Scotland, if you can't tell by my accent. And I like makeup, I fucking love makeup. So yeah, stay tuned, keep watching. Yeah, yeah. Pretty eyes, pretty Cutty, she a dime. Demon girl, evil eyes, she be telling lies. Slim waist, cute face, baby. So for brows, I use the Revolution Brow Pomade. This is only like a fiver. Um, really, really good. There's a wee mixing agent you can get with the eye foils. It's kind of like Sample Beauty or... <laughs> I can't remember the name. But it's a wee fluid. It's a liquid and you pop it in, a couple of drops, mix it together. And it makes your dried out cream products become more liquidy again. So yeah, I would recommend if you're going to buy about the brow pomades that you buy the wee eye foils you get with Makeup Revolution and you get the wee mixer with it. It's it's brilliant and it's only three pounds for the eye foils at the moment. And you obviously have an eye foil which are really beautiful as well. So yeah. Um the pad that I'm using isn't under ten pounds because I find it really hard to get eyeshadows under £10 that are really, really good. Um, perhaps in the Makeup Revolution sale you could get some. Um, so today I'm using the Tammy Revolution palette. Um, not sure how much this is. I haven't checked it because I'm not advertising it. Due to the fact it's obviously not under £10. And... To start off, I started with the colour Mojito and I placed that in my crease. So how is everybody been? I have spoken to my psychiatrist about my anxiety, which has been through the roof recently, and my lack of sleep. I have not slept a night through in months. It's been so broken, so disturbed, and I'm having all these intrusive thoughts. I really want to normalise mental health. Like, that's why I speak about it so much on my channel. I haven't recently, but I want to get back to it um, because I really enjoyed that. But yeah, so my psychiatrist has put me on a week's worth of Zopiclone to try and get my sleeping back to normal, which is a really strong sleeping tablet, if you didn't know and they've reduced my bipolar meds to see if it reduces the anxiety as well because it seems to have started when they were upped and what else if the symptoms don't improve within eight weeks i'll be assigned a key worker so um i don't know how to feel about it but i'm hoping it's a start and me stabilising because if you suffer anxiety you know you know that it is brutal being scared of your own mind being scared of everything around you being scared to go out like well, this is some of the things i experience um i'm going to shade dusk which is the yellow and just going around where i placed that green just to give it a blend but yeah so I haven't I haven't really spoken about it to anyone to be honest because I've just been trying to ignore it. Which is unusual for me because normally I'd be the first to tell my husband that he knows that I'm suffering with anxiety but he doesn't really know the extremes of it or how bad it is. And I really don't want to burden anybody with that. But I have been trying to stay in as much as I possibly can. Like, I've been avoiding life. <laughs> um, shade Nightfall. 
So yeah, any of you that experience anxiety, please don't be scared to reach out and get help. There is help out there. I know it's hard getting it. Services are backlogged. They're reluctant to give out diagnoses and medications. But I promise you, if you fight for it, you'll get it. And it's one hell of a fight, but it can be done. And I've got all the faith in every single one of you. I wish you all a happy, healthy future. So I'm just blending Nightfall into that green. Really building up that pigment. I'm going for a rounded eye shape today. I do apologise about the palette not being under £10, but I've bought palettes under £10 and I've just really not felt like anything was good enough to put in my video and be like, oh, I love this palette. So, yeah, a wee bit of fallout, but that's okay. The palette is extremely pigmented, as you can see. Oh, I'm <laughs> um, Next up, to start my base, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my primer with my foundation. Um, this is the Star Primer. This is currently, if in stock, £3 on Makeup Revolution. Absolutely brilliant. And then I'm going in with the Collection, I just kicked everything, Collection Last and Perfection Foundation. This is, I think, about £5. It's absolutely stunning. Matte finish, everything I want. And then I just mix the primer and the foundation together. I just find it gives it a pure flawless finish. And the star primer smells really good as well. So it's water based, so it's not going to wreck your makeup because oil based primers don't go with some foundations and make it break up. As you might know, like oil cleansers are used to break your makeup up and take it off. So, makes sense that an oil-based primer would take your foundation off. So yeah, I try not to go with any oil-based foundations, so I don't. So, my husband made me do karaoke. <laughs> And when I say he made me, I mean they try to kill me. Um, he basically said he, I'd already drank plenty. And he was like, if you don't sing karaoke, I'm going to keep ordering shots. What has she done? <laughs> he ordered shot after shot after shot. And I was like, fine, I'll go up, I'll sing. And it was absolutely horrendous. I'm not exaggerating. I cannot sing, not a note in tune, nothing. And he put it on Facebook just to further my embarrassment. So that was brilliant. But we're like at each other, we take a mickey right at each other. If we can embarrass each other at any point, we will. So, yeah, that's just the way we are. Is there anybody else like that in their relationships? Just take the absolute mick. I couldn't imagine us being any other way, to be honest with you. It's just... It's just how we are. Sit and call each other fatty, ain't it? <laughs> but you know, some people that would give a complex to and make them feel really insecure, I find it hilarious. He calls me Buddha Ten Bellies. Because <laughs> all I've done is eat. I'm just putting a wee bit extra on my chin because I've got a breakout. So I'm just putting the last step product that's on my hand onto my chin. really building that up and as you can see it is such a gorgeous foundation I've got a wee acne scar there but that's not going to cover up with anything um, next up is Primark Concealer £3.50 
and it is gorgeous. This is a wee bit dark as a concealer for me because I like it brightening so I may go in with a setting concealer or I may not. Just depends how it's looking. This is so creamy, so hydrating looking. So I would honestly recommend you get this. As you can see, it's not much different from my foundation colour. Hence why I might go in and brighten it up. So, yeah. I've learned over the past couple of days and nights out. Excuse me. That I cannot axe throw. I cannot go-kart. I cannot basketball. I cannot um, bow. <laughs> I kept hitting strikes and I was like, I'm on to a winner. Oh, uh, I'm beating all the guys. And then I just kept hitting nothing. <laughs> uh, it just turned into me losing. So, yeah. Don't know how I went for strikes to losing, but I did. Anyways, I'm going in with the Collection um, Last Imperfection Concealer. Just to brighten this up, another brilliant concealer, so it is. Oh my god, I love this so much, and I don't think I'm going to purchase any other type for a wee while because I love this so much. So I'm going to stick with it for a while. I don't really love to change my products, I love buying new makeup, but when it comes to my favourites, I tend not to stray. <gasps> Oh, I should have just left it. It's alright, we can fix it. I love to be real with you, like, when it comes to doing my makeup. I don't always get it perfect. So, hmm. like, I've just completely messed that up. But, you know what, it is what it is. I'm only going to Tesco. <laughs> I know I'm saying I don't venture outside the house very much, but if I absolutely need to, I will. Especially when it comes to getting my kids food. They're not going to go without because I can't cope with outdoors at the minute. I mean, get a couple of months and I'll probably be fine again. That's the way my moods tend to fluctuate. But while well, it's happening, it just, it's not nice. So that's that all brightened up and then I'm going to take my trusted Revolution Fast Base or whatever it's called foundation stick in F11. It's this and it looks like this. These are, well the set I got was two in a box and you get one light shade and one darker shade. And it was £12. So £6 for... £6 each for two contour sticks. Contour? Contour? Contour sticks. Bargain. Um, I really love these as contour. They're so creamy. They blend well. Like, I couldn't imagine paying over the odds for a contour stick, to be honest. You're only doing part of your face. It's not like your whole base which I don't mind paying for, like extra and foundation and stuff like that. But when it comes to contour, no. So I just like to apply it all over my cheeks because I'm going to get it with blusher, highlighter, and you're going to see the difference anyway. Just move my wee wiggy wiggy out of the way. I'm really loving the skinny brow at the minute. It's my go-to. It'll probably change again at some point. Just don't know when. So, yeah. Um, be with you in a minute. For blush, I'm going to use my usual little. 
do we even know what else it's called? Um, it's just a wee blush palette with flamingos on it. And I'm going in with a middle shade and a shade. I've been going quite heavy on a blush. I am loving the look of it at the minute. So I do my blush before my bronzer and stuff just to blend it in a wee bit because blusher can leave big harsh lines so I like to blend it in with my bronzer. This is like £8. Totally worth it in my opinion. I know £8 you can get blusher for like 2 or £3 but these are so pigmented and so blendable. Um, yeah, I just I love them. So yeah. I say so a lot, so <laughs> it's like I can't fill the gap. I can't fill the gap. Um, for bronzer, I'm using this wee one for Primark. It was three pounds, but I actually got it for a pound fifty. Perfect contour shade for me, rather than bronzer. But it is a bronzer. My head is so sweaty, so see if you see makeup clinging to it, it's not the makeup, it's my sweat. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. Seems like I'm going for a proper drag look today, and I'm not mad at it. I love me a drag moment. I'm just going to put a bit down here just to blend it in a bit. This is looking a wee bit too harsh, so I'm going to take a bigger brush and blend it all out. Next up, I've got the Freckle Pen by Miss Guided, and it is about £8, so I'm just I'm going to do a couple of freckles on my nose and dab those in. There's a reason I've not set my face and that is because I was going to do freckles today and I don't want to do it over powder so powder will come next I think. Just dab it in. I like to let a few dry for a couple of seconds and a few I pat out right away just for a contrast in the freckles. Like so. And then I'll let these ones dry for a few seconds. And a couple of here. Yeah, they are really nice. I love that freckle pen so much. I really do. And then I'm going to take the Revolution, no, I Heart Revolution um, Radiance Setting Powder. This is my new go-to. It's my absolute fave. I recommend everybody gets it. It's, it ranges from £4.80 to a fiver. So, cheapest chips. Um, just going to set my under eyes. Chin. My tash area because it gets super sweaty. Emma Dale's got a wee sweaty tash. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a bigger brush and take whatever's left in there and just set my whole face. And this leaves such a lovely glow. So it's not ruining your base if you've went for a glowy foundation which I have not but the last imperfection does have a sheen to it even though it claims it's matte so I'm trying to keep that sheen and down my neck so I've always got to say I think people forget to set their neck makeup and I'm like you set your whole face so why wouldn't you set your neck um <laughs> next up is highlight and for that, I'm going to use my wee soft palette and sugar frosting. And I'm using the lightest shade. This 
this is such a beautiful highlighter, but it does emphasise the texture a little bit on my skin. That's the only thing I would say, but it's blinding. It is blendable. It's just, it's lovely. Just here and here. I've stopped highlighting my whole nose. I'm trying to make it look smaller. <laughs> I really don't like my nose at all. And people hate this, but I highlight my chin. But the people seem to have an issue with it. Like, it's their face. And I'm like, well, makeup has no rules. It's what I do. I don't like it. Fuck off. Um, under eyes. I am going back into my Tammy palette and I'm just going to do all those colours again. So the yellow, the green, and then the teal, would you call that? Yeah. So yellow, which is dusk. This is such a beautiful palette. Um, it was my friend Holly who actually bought me it for my birthday. And I've been using that in the Alexis Stone palette ever since she bought, bought me them. I was over the moon. Like, I'm not used to friends buying me presents. I've had my friend Laura Watson. I just gave her last name. Laura Watson. Oh, that's her name. Um, buy me. It's because I've got two Lauras in my life. Uh, she bought me the Kat Von D when it was popular, um, contour palette and eyeshadow palette. And then Holly's bought me this stuff. She took me out for dinner. She really spoiled me, so I definitely wore one. <laughs> yeah, but sorry about confusion. I've got two Lauras in my life. So yeah, I'm just redoing those colours. You bring them down quite low because there is three of them. Which I don't mind. I love coloured eye bag moments. I really can't talk when I'm doing my under eyes, so I can't. Takes me all my concentration not to poke myself in the eye. Uh, eyeshadow in my eye. Eyeball. Eyeball. Ow! Um, next up, if I can find it. Yeah, so next up is the Revolution Gel Pot Eyeliner. Gel Pot? Yeah. Um, I don't know why nobody's talking about this because everybody raved about the Maybelline one. This is just as good. Um, I think it's like £8. It is phenomenal. And it stays all day. So I'm just going to place that in my waterline. Like so. But yeah, this is so good. It's so creamy. It lasts all day. Definitely if you use the Maybelline in your kit uh, gel eyeliner, get this because I find it better. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I dropped something in every video. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a goof. Um, I don't know how I do a ring today. Should I do a ring? It takes forever though, and I really don't like to keep these forever. Maybe I'll just stick lashes on. I don't know. I opted for a wing. <laughs> so I'm just using that gel eyeliner and going to start on the outer eye. I don't like that brush at all. It's the liner brush by Spectrum. 
it's really not thin enough whereas my eyebrow brush is. This is a god awful wing because I'm so used to doing it with the felt liners and not the gel liners so excuse me if it's absolutely pants and then I just like to squeeze my wee pen together to do the pen <laughs> pen uh, brush and get a really sharp line like so and then I'm just going to go off and stick my lashes on they are Style Sugar by Pound Lashes they only cost like a pound and they're honestly fantastic I would say bulk your collection up go buy them because they are amazing and i will never buy another lash <laughs> um they've got ones that are two pounds and it's big fluffy ones if that's what you're into um yeah definitely definitely invest it's not even an investment it's cheap as chips so it's not an investment um right okay i'll be back in a minute so lashes are on as i say these are style sugar um they're gorgeous well, I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> you don't have to. Look at that wee curl, it's just sticking out. Um, I'm going in with Primark Lip Liner and Shade Spice. These are so good. Like, I've heard Steph Toms and other YouTubers rave about them, but I've never tried them. Um, I was like, they can't be that good. But I bought one in Newcastle when I was down um, because I couldn't find my eyeliner. Eyeliner or lip liner? And yeah, I bought this and what it. Also, I think I made a mistake, I'm not sure, on the contour sticks. Um, I said two for £12, I think, or £6 each. They were, in, they were £3 each, um, £6 for the box. So even better, £3 for a contour stick. Woohoo! Um, anyway. Look at how pigmented that is. It just glides on. Completely beginner friendly, honestly. And then for lips, I'm using the Lottie London Slay All Day Liquid Lips. You can get these for less than a fiver. They're really good. They're a comfortable mat as well, they're not that dry, flaky way you get, like, I find the sleek um, matte lips a bit like that, um, yeah, and then just to lighten up, I'm going in with a little bit of the Primark concealer, because this is darker than my usual, or else my lips would go white. too much so guys here you have it the finished look um yeah I'm quite happy with how that has turned out for my trip to Tesco woo, woo. <laughs> I am going to be so excited 
for my trip to Tesco. Dress less, well looking less. Uh, yeah, so final look. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please hit subscribe and ring the bell. Um, every wee subscriber means the world to me. Um, I love doing videos and I love when you comment and I always comment back. Um, it's just a wee bit of conversation that makes my day because I don't really get much. I'm more for. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching.